Hello and welcome to this um, DVD. Oh, YouTube video. So this is um, sorry, just had to make sure you can see that. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to be doing today, uh, we've you may have seen the the budgets video on the cash flow uh, forecasting or cash flow problem video. What we're going to start, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to um, measuring. and increasing profit. So, well, what is measuring and increasing profit? Yeah, hopefully you can see that all right. Well, Measuring and increasing profit, sorry, just making sure. Yeah. Measuring and increasing profit is all about um, seeing how profitable a business is. Now, you can have a business that is receiving £2 billion in uh, revenue, such as Bills Bubbles, but then you could have a, um, a, a company like Halford that's only bringing in £2 a day in, in revenue. But that does not necessarily mean that the company that's bringing in less money is less profitable. This could be relative on, say, the size of the given business, for example. So, how would you um, work out how profitable a business is if we take away the size out of them? Okay, so, say, for example, um, what we're going to first look at is the net profit margin, gross profit margin, and gross profit and net profit we're going to start with net profit. Now what is net profit? Net profit is the general term for profit. So net profit is equal to SR equals sales revenue minus um, total costs. Yeah. How the gross profit equal to SR take TVC. TVC is total variable cost. Now you may notice that total variable cost is the same as contribution. So, yeah, so um, gross profit is the same as total contribution, sorry, that's correct. So, how can we work out the gross and net profit margins of a business? Because this is sometimes asked in an exam. Well, net profit margin is uh, as we said, and that's how you work, work out net profit is sales revenue minus total costs. So, to work out the net profit margin, what we do is net profit as a, pro, as a percentage of the sales revenue times 100. So, that essentially has shown us. For the net profit, what proportion of that of that is the sales revenue? And now that is the same for saying uh, gross profit margin. You just replace the net profit with gross profit. And this works for just about anything. They're the two margins. And if you were looking for, um, say, a return on capital, so investment, so investment. Um, you do investment over sales revenue times 100. Sorry for that, guys. Just brother walked in. So investment um, over sales revenue times 100, and that will give you the return on investment as a percentage of the sales revenue. You may get asked that. So that's just... There's not much to measure an increase in profit, really. Um, you just need to how to increase it. We've done the measuring profit, but now we need to know how to increase it. There's a basic ways of increasing profit. So you increase your sales, and you could achieve this uh, by yeah, uh, increasing advertising, for example. 
ad is just a short for advertising or you could increase your price assuming you don't lose any products uh, sales or you increase your price you lose less sales as a percentage if you understand that um, you can decrease your fixed costs and you can decrease your variable costs now if you were a, a, a business you could decrease your fixed costs and now there's something I should have mentioned in an earlier video called rationalizing I'm not sure if I did but no it's chance now so uh, rationalizing is making a business smaller but you gotta make sure the business does not need that capacity in the future uh, so fixed costs would be reducing the rent uh, if you're on salaries, workers, you could use the salaries of the workers. The variable costs, you could use the, use the wages of the workers or the raw materials. But obviously both of them have implications on the sales and profit margins. So variable costs, if you reduce the materials, this is going to impact on the quality that people experience, word of mouth, and that would lead to um, you losing customer satisfaction and sales and profit. So that's basically the measuring and increasing profit in a nutshell. There are certain definitions, but um, I just wanted to get you through the basics of it. As I said, there's not that much to measuring and increasing profit. I hope you got it from that, and um, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.